Hi, I'm Marilyn Sholin, and welcome to Corel Painter Essentials 8. And we're going to talk about auto painting your photo. So this is a really easy, fun thing to do, and Corel gives you a lot of options. So the first thing you need to do is choose your photo. So you would just go to File, Open, and I've already done that. I have my photo open here. And now be sure you are in the layout of photo painting. So just go to Layouts, Photo Painting. And when you do that, you will have these options here, these panels that will say one, two, three. So let's go to the first one. Use Open Image. And click it once, just click it once, and you'll see your image show up in the box up here. And it's covered with tracing paper. So if I go down to three and I click on show tracing paper, you can see it's almost like there's two levels here. We have the photo itself and then we have the painting. The tracing paper is what you're actually painting on. So I'm going to click that off now and I'm going to go over to number two. And number two is choose a brush that we want to do this with. And I'm going to choose the Bold Impressionist Landscape. And then all you have to do is click Start, and it will set up for doing it. It prepped the image, and now it's preparing for the actual auto painting. And you can see how gorgeous and fast that moves. The brush starts out large, and it gets smaller and smaller and smaller, and it finds the detail, and then it stops when it feels that it's finished. So it does all that for you, which is pretty amazing. So I got my cursor back right here. So that means it has stopped. And if I want to, I can go ahead and save this. And when you go to File, Save As, you'll see it shows up as a RIF, which is a painter file. But if you click on that, you can also go to JPEG, Photoshop, TIFF, you have a lot of choices here. So I'm not going to save this yet because I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add something on top of this layer. So I'm going to go back here to the auto paint brushes and I'm going to choose another one to go right on top of this one. So let's try a colored pencil and let's start it. Again, it's going to have to prepare the painting, so it doesn't take but a few seconds to do that. And it's taking the original one and it's adding colored pencil. Now, when I'm doing this, I can choose to stop it whenever I want. So you can try this a couple of times with a couple of different brushes here. So let's go for um, one more. Why not? Let's go with the, uh, not a pencil, opaque acrylic. So let's click on there, and it's going to prepare it for the auto painting again. And you can do this over and over and over, and you can stop it whenever you want. There's the acrylic going on it, and you'll see the brush strokes will get smaller and smaller until it's finally ready and done, which is going to be in a few seconds here. So this one was the opaque acrylic brush. And it's going to stop right about here. Okay. There you have it. So one of the things that's good to do with this is when you're done with your painting and you've decided you're going to keep it or, or not, over here in the brushes, in the auto painting and touch-up brushes, there's a variety of touch-up brushes. So let's take a look at these. And I'm going to start with the hardest one first. So let's take a look here. You can see it over here. I'm going to make this brush light. There it is. Okay. It just needs to be larger. I'm going to uh, zoom in on this also so you can really see the differences. So let's go here. Zoom in. Okay, let's get our brush back, and you can see that it's adding some texture in here. Let's go over to the leaf, 
and it's moving things around and it's painting a little bit more interest in there. And let's go to the next one, which is touch up light smear. Now you can see the smearing. I'm taking some big broad strokes here so you can see this. And I also had up the opacity from the default up higher. So I'm doing smearing now. And let's look at the next one. Touch up light. And let's use it over here. See the image, see the texture coming through here? It's coming through really nice. You can really see it all. This adds another dimension to your painting. So touch up light. And then I think there's another one here, touch up soft. So let's move this a little bit. And right here, we'll do touch up soft. And you can see exactly what it's doing. And I am working with a tablet and a pen, a stylus. And I'm going to up this, the opacity, so that it's a little bit more detailed and distinct that you can see it. This is really nice. So easy to work with. All right, now I'm going to go back over here to my magnifier and click up on top at 100%. And there's my painting right now. So this is looking really good. There are some other options that we can do. Um, plus, we can paint over it again if we want to do that. So there's a lot of different ways that you can do this. So now that you have your painting, you might be thinking that's it. And that's all you have is this one painting. But if you go up here to Effects, Tonal Control, Adjust Colors, you can actually work with shifting the colors in the painting. You can see a lot of different options here. Let me move this over so you can see it a little bit better. So here, just moving this little bar, you will be changing your colors. And anything you like, you can keep and then keep doing your ships here. And let's do, let's go back a little bit higher this way. And then you could use your saturation, which will make it much, much brighter. And this is the way to really have some control over your color. And then you can make it darker. You can make it lighter. And that's your value that's doing that. So you really have a lot of choices here as to what you can do. Oh, I like that. That's really pretty. What you can do with your singular painting. I'm going to go OK. And um, that is looking really, really pretty. So I'm going to take one more look over here at the auto painting and touch up brushes. And let's take a look and see um, the variety of brushes that are in here. There's a lot in here, so you might want to add just a little bit more of moving things around. See how the palette knife is changing it again now? I'm breaking the edges a little bit. But this all starts from a photo. That's where it all starts. And you have so many options of what you can do. This is just, you could play with this all day. It's so easy to use, so much fun. Just smear your palette knife around. So you, besides doing your auto painting, you can do a lot more with your painting once it's auto painted. So you can start there. So for right now, this is Marilyn Sholin. And this is your lesson on auto painting. Thank you so much.